assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to clinic management system tutorials today is our lecture number seven and in today's class i'm going to discuss with you the users window inside our clinic management system uh, in the previous lecture we have created the roles window and we have seen the crude operations that are the universal crude operations uh, with respect to the roles window uh, today uh, i come up with a new approach uh, uh, with all with this existing universal crude operations and i will share uh, that how can you further optimize your universal crude operation code uh, with respect to your uh, software so let's start and have a look what we have today in clinic management system right so uh, that's my login window so when i click login i have these two uh, buttons so when i click roll the things are doing well in the previous lecture i have demonstrated all these things but let me share one more thing that you can uh, further do and optimize your universal crude operation code let me show you so first of all you have to go to your crude operation library uh, that is this one and then open your crude operation class and if you notice here you have created a list box okay list box for what list box for getting the parameters list box for um, displaying the values or getting the values of the particular uh, controls from the panel so instead of list box if can i if i write here hash table hash table is a collection okay and it is a dynamic collection and it can store the values with respect to keys and values so uh, for using a collection you have to write here using system dot collections okay so that your collections will be uh, come here will come here inside your intelligence so hash table look hash table is a collection and then uh, give here an object that is ht now what you can do you can specify a loop for this so how can you specify a loop for this let me show you the first thing that you can do here is the apply for each loop in for each loop you can write here dictionary entry okay so dictionary entry is a, a particular structure and then you can specify item no problem that's the variable name and then your collection name so my collection name is ht okay so what will happen when this loop will run all the data that is stored inside the hash table will be picked up one by one with respect to keys and the values and stored inside this uh, dictionary item variable and then how can you uh, insert or, or, or pick up the values let me show you cmd dot parameters because you have to pass the parameters to your command so cmd dot parameters dot add with value the first thing it is asking me the parameter name is string data type so ht sorry not ht item because that's my variable item dot key so inside key what will i what will i store i will store the parameters okay so that uh, i will use it as a string and then uh, after key i need the value so um, i can write here item dot value simple that's it so what will happen when this loop will run uh, how many times this loop will run the number of items that i will pass inside my hash table uh, the number of times this loop will be executed and the number of times the parameters will be added inside my command okay so now uh, because of this single uh, hash table you have eliminated the need of the list boxes the two list boxes that you are create that you will create again and again inside the software so that's also become a hectic task so uh, you can th this is the further optimized way how you can uh, do the uh, crude operations also so i am removing this thing i don't need this thing because i have passed my uh, hash table now it's fine and now what we can do we can uh, we can uh, rebuild it this this particular module and then change the code in the uh, roles window first and then we'll go to the users window so right click on your crude library dll and then rebuild it so uh, rebuild is started and rebuild succeeded now what you can do you can go to your roles window and go to the uh, code uh, of the role window uh, let's say this that's my window of the roles now here look the error is appearing because uh, you don't you you have the list box i don't need now list box what i need i need only a hash table so hash table look it is not appearing here why it is not appearing because uh, you need to add the system dot collections so using system dot collections okay uh, now come here and write hash table and then ht equals to new hash table that's my simple hash table collection now what you wanted to do you wanted to add your items inside this so hash table dot add simple a simple method for this so what it is asking me it is asking me the key and it is asking me the value so what is the key the key is that i wanted to pass here is the string so cut it cut this name and paste it here and simple uh, 
apply comma and then provide the value so the value is role text dot text simple so whatever the data type will be whatever the parameter will be you just pass to this list box that's it so because uh, i have the roles uh, only the role name so i don't need now these two lists you have just you have just passed your item inside your hash table now what you can do you just provide your hash table here that is ht that's it the work has been done so your code is now further reduced uh, from two list boxes into a single hash table so now uh, let's check either it is working or not okay i have to resolve errors also uh, there because i have to pass here hash, hash table as well so uh, copy this and here you have to uh, paste it for updation so you have pasted now one more item that you have to add here is the id of the hash table so sorry id of the role so you have to write here id and then the value of the id is in role id so you have to pass here role id also okay so change the code appropriately and now remove these list you you eliminate these list boxes so things are more clear now and now uh, pass here simple the hash table that is ht so you have created your hash table here now uh, what what's next uh, we have also delete uh, function so same function is using here so instead of passing these things what you can do you can simply create a hash table and pass the id so come inside and remove this list boxes and paste it and remove this name also so what will happen now you will just pass the hash table here that's it so the code is further reduced now let's start and check is it working or not so login roles okay view data is appearing here now click add uh, let me add one more item let's say manager okay uh, if i'm adding manager and clicking save look manager added successfully into system and it is displaying the work is remains the work remains the same and the data is loaded and then when you click the edit button and let's say managers to check the updation process yes the update is working successfully and the, dis the list is displayed and if you wanted to delete it are you sure you want to delete yes i wanted to delete so managers deleted successfully i hope it is clear to everyone now the same case we will do for the uh, staff that i have inside my uh, software so let's do that also one message uh, was uh, i wanted to uh, uh, make a space here now it's fine so save it now let's create a staff window first so close every window that we don't need right now okay and sample also close it close it and close it now uh, let's create another window that is the staff window so right click add windows form and specify the name staff window staff window okay that's fine and then uh, you have to apply inheritance here so you use sample two class and then save and then come here look my t my window is generated automatically and now the design of the staff window so uh, the name of the staff first so label and text box and then resize it and then uh, name of the staff and then the username of the staff and then the password of the staff okay and then the role of the staff or you can use the address or phone number of the staff and then address phone number and then address and then the role of the staff for role i am picking up a label only first and then the drop down list because i will pick up my roles uh, directly from the database that's why i have added the roles globally so that's fine now what you can do you can select all these controls and go to the properties and make them enabled false by default so that the validations will be applied where is the enabled keyword here enabled false so everything becomes enabled false now that's my label rename it to name and then rename it to username so that the user can log in and then the password and then you can specify the phone number and then you can specify the address of the user and then you can specify the role of the user okay and then 
one thing that you can do you can put it like this now it's fine uh, move it a little bit upwards because uh, I think that was not coming appropriately okay now it's fine so uh, this is the combo box so you have to make its flat style from standard to pop up so that validation can appear here and then you can select the drop down list now it's fine okay now give it the naming conventions also <coughs> the length of the name should be not more than 50 characters and the name of the text box should be name text along with you have to specify uh, nothing you have to specify then the username text the length should be <coughs> not more than 50 and here you can write user text and then this is my password so password text and then specify the length also that is should not be more than 20 and then phone text phone text and the length of the phone should not be greater than 15 and then the address so maximum length can be 200 and the text box name should be address at the back end and then the role drop down so that's my role drop down okay so a simple ui that i have created for my users to be added inside my software now uh, let's have a grid so uh, copy this grid view and come inside the staff window and paste it here in this grid view you have to add these columns also so edit columns you have role id and role already so you need now user id gv the column coding name and then the header text that you have to specify is the id and it should not be visible it should be read only and then you have to specify the name gv and then the header name is name visible then username gv and then it should be username okay and then it should be visible and then you have password gv so password but i will not display the password because for security reasons so uh, it is it is there but it is it will not be visible password gv then phone grid view and the heading text should be phone it should be visible and then address and here you can write address okay so add and then uh, all things are now set at the end you have the role so click okay serial number is already there and now it's fine so everything will be displayed now what you can do you can separately go to the text boxes and uh, apply the validations uh, so that when you blank when you leave the text box blank it will become red okay and otherwise it will become white so uh, double click on your name text and write here if name text dot text is equals to equals to blank then what you can do name text dot for color sorry dot back color is equals to color dot fire brick when you left the uh, text box blank it will become red else uh, name text dot back color will become white okay so color dot white now it's fine and then same is the case you copy this and you can paste it on your username and change the text box name only so user text now it's fine and uh, copy this user text and paste it here okay so paste it here and you can paste it here as well so username text is blank then the color will be red otherwise the color will be white now same is the case for password double click and then copy it and paste it and then uh, password text so pass text right here password text and in the last you have to write here password text okay now moving forward uh, the next controls we have is the address and the phone so double click and paste and double click paste and you have the roll drop down so double click and paste so you have pasted these things close this 
close this also now um, save it uh, so phone you should write here phone text and copy it and paste it here here also and now you have to specify address so address text double click copy and paste and paste and then you need the roles drop down so roles drop down dot selected index if it is not equals to if it is equals to equals to zero or minus one sorry if it is blank then make it fire brick otherwise make it uh, white so that's the validation that I have applied now I need the overloaded overridden versions of the save delete and view button so where I have to go I have to go to my sample to window and the code and then uh, copy these three buttons events and then paste here inside your staff window okay after pasting these things you have to rename it word from virtual to override so that the overriding will take place in this current document three replacements are done now what you have to do you have to check uh, controls if um, main class dot check controls and then what it is asking you to provide the left panel so let me write here left panel dot count greater than zero so if the count is greater than zero what should happen uh, the message should be displayed that the fields with red are mandatory so copy and come here and paste simple now else what what do you have to write here in else just go to your roles window and copy this whole code simple just copy this code if and else for, for save and update and then paste it here now here what do you want it to do you want it to create uh, insert the uh, reference of the hash table so right click no okay look resolve is not appearing no problem just go to the top and write using system dot collections simple okay after adding the collections now it's fine hash table is added now what's uh, what you have to add inside this hash table so let us go first and then first create the database for the users table so here I have the database and then the tables and look I have already users so what I have here name username password phone address and the role ID and I have also created the the stored procedures of this user also let me show you all right so insert users update users delete users and get users I have all the procedures okay so uh, let us go to the insert procedure and open it the parameters that I wanted to pass here are these so uh, what I will do I will delete this and delete this also and instead of this I should write here copy and paste and paste and paste and paste and paste okay now uh, the first parameter is this come here and paste it the second parameter is this so come and paste it and then the third parameter is this and paste it and then the fourth parameter is this paste it and then the fifth parameter is address paste and then the last is role id so copy it and then paste it okay now what you can specify here the the names uh, or the the controls that you have from where you are you are taking the data or picking up the data so name text then what you need username text user text dot text and then you need password dot text and then you need phone so phone text dot text and then you need address address text dot text and then you need role id so how can you pick up the role id so convert dot to integer 32 and then you select your roles drop down because i will load the data from the uh, database inside this role drop down so selected value dot to string okay and then that's it so uh, this is how I have passed my different parameters and diff number, different number of parameters inside my hash table. Now what I will do, instead of writing this insert rules, what I will pass here, uh, this parameter, 
that is my insert users so copy it and paste it here okay so in insert users this uh, details will be added and here you can write here name text uh, added successfully into the system and now look it is saying that crude is not there so you have to add the reference of the crude using crude module that's my crude module now it's fine okay now one th problem is load load roles so you have to copy that function from the roles window here so uh, copy this load roles and come here inside the staff window and paste it here okay so what you wanted to load you wanted to load uh, in in what columns you wanted to load the data let me write here the first column and then the second column and then so on so copy it paste it paste it paste it paste it paste it and paste it now let's open the get uh, users uh, stored procedure so that's one okay so first thing that i am passing here is the id then user then name and then so on so you have to pass here the grid view column names so id gv so user id gv the first column then you have to pass the user that is the name gv okay and then username gv and then you have to pass the password gv and then you have to pass the um, phone gv and then you have to pass the address gv so that's my address and then you have to pass the role id gv and then you have to pass the role uh, gv okay so you have passed all the items all the data grid view columns inside your this list box and now you have to change the procedure only and the procedure name is get users so copy it and paste it so that's what uh, the efforts that i have done in the previous lectures this is the result of that all efforts i don't have to write the insert update select delete queries again and again in fact i am just providing my new values to my existing stored procedures and the methods and the modules whatever you can say and i am just uh, calling them again and again now uh, here you have to create that also so notice guys uh, why i am doing this because i have to change the data from my hash table so paste it here so and again a hash table is created but with uh, different item so st dot add here you have to specify the user id for updating the database so let us go to the update procedure update users modify and then select your user id uh, that is this one so at the rate id is the parameter simply pass it and create a variable here with the name integer user id equals to 0 by default and then uh, pass it integer sorry user id so where i will pick this user id from where i will pick this user id i will pick up this user id from my grid view click so i will do that also right now so right here name text added updated successfully into the system now it's fine so uh, that's my insert code i have given the hash table and then i have changed the stored procedure and then the message and then reset and then load roles all things are now clear load rules i have changed the parameters okay now it's fine and that's my update code and here what you have what you are doing you have just added one more um item, one more item inside your hash table and then update rules and then display the message and now the final thing that is the delete code so rules window go to your delete and copy this and go to the uh, staff window and paste it here okay so i show you want to delete instead of this you have to pass here role user id and then the parameter is the same and what you can use here name text dot text delete it successfully from the system that's my new hash table delete roles instead of delete roles what you can write here delete users so right click modify and then pick up the procedure name so copy it and paste it here so all things are now successfully done now one more thing that you can do that is the load users okay the name of the function should change at the top this should be not roles this should be load users okay 
so wherever these functions are appearing you have to change it to load users copy this paste this so that you cannot be confused and paste this so load users uh, now uh, the last thing call this not the last thing the second last thing and now the grid click so click here go to the events and select the event cell click on this cell click what you can do just copy this code and come here inside and paste now edit edit will become one the role id uh, it should not be there instead of this role id you can write here user id and then convert it and select the user id gv column so that your id will be picked up and stored inside the variable and now uh, after this you have to write here name text name text dot text and then specify your uh, name text from the grid view that is raw dot cells of dot value dot two string and then um, write here your name gv column and then double quotes okay i hope it is clear to everyone after name text what do you have to specify the username and then the password so write here username text user text and then here should be the username gv so username gv column names and then the password text that's my password and here should be the password gv so that the data is binded and then after password you need phone number and address so copy it paste it and paste it again here you need phone so phone text and here you need the address so address text and then the column name should also be changed so here you write phone gv and then close it and here you write the address gv and then close it okay now after passing all these one thing is still remaining that the role drop down so role drop down dot selected value is equals to raw dot cells of and you can write here role id gv whatever the id will be that role will be picked up automatically from the combo box and then dot value that's it so you have passed everything now uh, one thing that is still remaining so when you come here and load when you click when you when this window is will be loaded the roles should be loaded automatically so do we have that a particular method uh, to load the data let's go to the uh, crude operations um, let us first check the main class do we have something here um, no we don't have anything here so close this main class let's go to the crude and let's create a function uh, a function that is used to load the data inside the combo box every time when i need so i need a global function for that also so what i can do i can create another function so public static void load combo box or you can write here load list that's fine and then come inside and pass here a parameter that is combo box cb and then string value member and then string display member okay so display member so that's what i uh, i want here and then try catch and what you need here sql command cmd equals to new sql command all this is one time code you don't need again and again so here you need the procedure also so first of all write the parameter for string string procedure that's it and then pass this procedure here procedure and then connection that is my main class come inside and cmd dot command type equals to command type dot stored procedure i don't have to pass the parameter one thing that i can do here is uh, cb dot items dot clear by default so whenever this function will be loaded the item existing item of the list box will be cleared and then after this 
you have to specify main class no you don't need to specify main class you write here sql data adapter sql data adapter da equals to new sql data adapter and pass your command data table dt equals to new data table that's also in a class fill and then dt so you have filled your data inside your data table and then combo box dot data source cb dot uh, data source is equals to dt and then before this you write here dot display member is equals to whatever we, whatever the member will be right here from the property from the attributes and then cb dot value member is equals to value member okay so this is how you can specify so for display member i will display the role names or whatever the data and at value member i will pick up the id and then last but not the least i am trying to do here that cb dot selected index is not equals to minus one so that my list box remains empty uh, by default and at exception you can throw the exception like this so what you can write main class dot show message and show your exception ex dot message that's it so all things are now set one thing that is missing is this one that is it is an error now it's fine so that's my load list and let's rebuild this crude dll so that it can be updated okay rebuild started rebuild succeeded and now let's go to this uh, staff window load so double click here come on the load and write here crude dot load list look it is appearing here now what it is asking the procedure so from where you wanted to load uh, get the roles so get roles is the stored procedure copy it let me show you get roles also modify that's the previous procedure that i have used in the roles window so get roles copy it paste it and then what it is asking me the combo box where is my combo box that's my roles drop down and then what it is asking me the value member so what is the column name here id and then the role so the the first thing that it is asked me is the value member so the my, my value member is id the id of the role and then the display member will be the name of the role that is role okay these are my column names from the database so that's my global function now whatever i wanted to load inside the combo boxes i will just pass the uh, stored procedure and then the combo box and then the value members and the display members hopefully you have understood this uh, now all things are now successfully done let's start and have a look uh, before starting first we have to bind this staff button uh, with the window okay so user window okay staff window i think the name of the window is staff yes the staff window sw equals to new staff window and then main class dot show staff show window and then what you have to write sw comma this comma mdi dot active form okay save it and then start okay so login staff the window is there uh, by default why it is appearing like this uh, we have to check this why it is appearing like this okay no problem add so when uh, you click the add the controls are now enabled let me add the user let's say ali raza okay and then the username is let's say ali and the password is one two three okay you have to change it first to password so let us go to the uh, staff window and uh, select your password box and go to the uh, events and sorry properties and you can use the password character let's say um, plus and see what will happen i have specified the password character let us check is it working or not so click add and look whatever you will write it will be displayed as a plus i hope it is clear to everyone and now um, let me add here ali raza and then ali and the password is let's say 12345 and then the phone number let's say 0345-123-1231 and the address let's say nk and then the roles 
so there are roles yes there are roles coming from the database so let's say this is an admin and then you click the save button Ali Raza added successfully into the system and it is displayed successfully inside my uh, grid view and when you click here again all the things are again appearing here and when you edit it Ali Raza let's say I am giving another name and then uh, when I click save it is saying that update procedures has too many arguments okay so wait wait a minute uh, there is a problem inside the update so let us go to the uh, update code uh, let's say what is the problem uh, come here and go to the update users and uh, modify it so name you name okay name you name and then password phone password phone then address uh, phone address then role ID and then ID okay it is it is uh, it is thing it is it is right so why it is appearing like this um, uh, update roles okay that's the problem uh, because I haven't changed the stored procedure name here that's my mistake so copy this name and paste it here so that's fine so that is why I, I already checked why the prob why uh, all the operations that are working or not so login staff and then uh, click uh, view the users existing users and then click edit and then right here Ali Raza let's say you are updating username and then click save look, look it's updated and it is displayed okay and same is the case when you click delete nothing will happen are you sure you wanted to delete nothing will happen okay uh, but uh, uh, because uh, I have selected the data already there that's why the data was deleted but if you don't select anything from this list uh, the data will not be delete okay I hope it is clear to everyone so uh, that's all for today uh, hope you have understood uh, how you can uh, further optimize the universal crude operations uh, with respect to the hash table collection and we have seen successfully the staff window and the roles window if you do not understand anything please do write me thank you so much take care Allah Hafiz